I'm Dani. Welcome to my home style. Come in. Hi guys, my name is Dani Laurel. I'm a news anchor and business journalist. I've worked at One News for over seven years now. I also professionally host and moderate a business and economic event. I am a mom to two amazing boys, Francesco and Mattia, nine and ten years old, and also a cat mom to Ace Le Tigre. Welcome to my small space. This apartment is just 29 square meters and one bedroom. It was meant to be a halfway house for me because it's very close to where I work in studio, but it ended up becoming my forever home. I'm very, very used to small spaces, essentially because I was living in Europe for 12 years and there you really live in poly pocket sized apartments and live off of your you know, suitcase and just make sure that you don't buy too much stuff or it won't fit. So I've been used to that lifestyle I like the pack and go lifestyle. I travel a lot. So I love being able to just lock up, not think about my apartment for a while, come home and then feel like, oh, everything's here pala. So here is the first thing that you'll notice on my end in this beautiful little space that I have that brings everything together. It's an E2 rug and it's actually a huge Turkish rug. It's double the size. Isn't it so beautiful in terms of craftsmanship? And I asked them, can I have the biggest size? Because just in case one day I have maybe a bigger house or bigger space, then at least I can bring that rug because I know it's going to last for so many years. So this is the small space that I do for work, of course, um, and for leisure. And what I've done is I actually changed it up a little bit. So my partner and I really love Japanese style aesthetic, but I also like um, sort of a lot of art, the right? So I'm not completely minimalist. I think I'm a mix of minimalist and an art. And all of these are actually vintage. So I bidded for these. These are from Japan, secondhand uh, pieces. Also that one there. Um, these two are Missonis that I brought in from Paris. So I've had that for like 15, 20 years, I think. And then of course, you know, I have my shelf with all of my stuff that I keep. And on top of that, you've got but let's say my few accolades that I'm very, very proud of. So some of my awards there. Oh, and finally, actually this ceiling lamp is just new again. I got it from a friend, so it's very circular economy. She had to leave uh, the country. So I just picked it up and then chucked it right there. If you look around, the first thing you'll notice is the art. I've just started collecting fairly recently. I like to think of myself as an artist. I love to paint as well and draw. But unfortunately, I don't have time for that. So I was thinking, okay, since I can't do my own art and I was pressured to put my own art, I'll just collect some local art. So this is a Ronel Dayal. I love this painting. I saw it. It was the first thing that caught my eye at a Finale Art Gallery in La Fuerza. And I just felt like I was this little girl looking at a stack of books. And if you notice, it's not just any kind of books like novels. These are textbooks and I actually have a picture of myself as a young kid exactly like this with a bunch of law books of my dad when he was working at the Securities and Exchange Commission. So there's an exact picture of me with this type of format. It also signifies to me all the books that I read later on while doing my PhD and becoming an academic for 13 years. And then it leads towards this part of the painting and you can see her, or at least that's how I feel, growing up into this very successful woman with black heels and a red skirt. And I feel that's me as well. This staircase um, is super interesting because I actually have a house in Alabang and the back staircase of that looks exactly like this. And interestingly, you know, one of these houses, um, it actually leads to the service quarters. It's not the main staircase of the house. And what that signifies to me is my relationships with those that took care of me throughout my childhood because I would spend all my time with them um, in the service quarters and they've become my best friends and the ones who looked after me. So that's kind of symbolic for me. And finally here you have, you know, a painting of Rothko, um, which of course is the two favorite colors of my boyfriend. I remember painting one time a painting for him in exactly these types of colors and also Remembering um, the last time that my children went to the Pompidou was actually a Rothko exhibit. So that's what I love about this painting. 
Now, this is a Gabby Prado. I have three of her works. So this one, this one, and this one. And if you see all the other homes of young people, because I think Gabby is like 26 or 27 years old, you're gonna find a Gabby Prado there somewhere. So she's a very coveted artist right now. And this one I love. Um, it's a Beto, a Studio Beto. So Dito found it. And we didn't, honestly, we didn't even know who he was. And with my art, we just buy things that we like without even, honestly, researching on the artist beforehand. And then when we found out, oh my God, he's so well known pala, I started searching for other things that I could buy of him. So this is one of those. I had to get that from uh, Cebu because it was pretty hard to, to get. So that's another Beto that I have. And then I do have a Marissa Lopa. So Marissa Lopa is a classic artist. She's very well known for nudes. And I'll show you some later on in my bedroom. Um, but yeah, it's the style of Matisse. So it's a bit of a sort of fauvist. So that's what I love about this painting. And then finally, we have an Anya Bongato, which you know is so hard to get these days. Again, I just walked in. Um, her gallery is called White Walls. So she's represented by White Walls Gallery in La Fuerza. And she takes inspiration from old uh, Renaissance paintings, but she does it in such a modern way. So she'll research and juxtapose that. She'll paint out of an iPad from her apartment, you know, so very modern. From her condo, she has an iPad, she'll paint, and then she'll change um, some of the elements. So I like this. It's actually by a French-Italian painter. So I, I resonate with that. And it's about women chatting and having tea and, and enjoying life. Okay, so admittedly, my kitchen is not completely done. It's just a mess, but you'll see the way that I live. So here is my little fridge, and you can see all the pictures that I have of my beautiful children and my Dito, and also here some quotes that I keep for life. So that's my fridge, and then you'll have just a small you know, shelf with all the condiments. We love condiments. Admittedly, I'm a bad cook. I don't like to cook. I like to clean, I like to do laundry, but I don't like to cook. So my partner does mainly most of the cooking and he loves to use a lot of spices. I even have a whole supplement thing. So we're actually very organic in this house. Um, we like all of these things. We don't normally take medicines. So a lot of these are Chinese herbs and all these other teas um, that we have. So a lot is like a healthy option sort of grocery. Um, this is a Rabancha trash can. That was my dream. I told my boyfriend, you need to get me that trash can or, you know, that's the only gift that I want from you. It's a bit pricey, but it's definitely worth it. And if you look here, um, nothing major, but lots of, you know, little knickknacks here and there that I've stored um, and collected over time. And the my main feature, I guess, of my kitchen is the fact that the books are spilling over onto the ceiling. I just don't know where to put those books. They used to be scattered on the floor. So I decided, you know what, I can't put anything up there. So I might as well put my books. Here is our little bathroom. I hope you guys can fit. Um, nothing special, but really what I like is that I painted the walls myself. So this is lime wash paint that we physically put um, just a few weeks ago, actually. And then I decided to make it a bit artsy. Like I said, I love Matisse. I love the Fauves. So this is a, a poster that I got from the Centre Pompidou in Paris. And this is also a Matisse painting that's transformed into a shower curtain. And finally, ah, my bedroom is... <laughs> okay, come and I'll show you my bedroom. So it's very low-key and very small. And what we decided just as the Japanese style low furniture that we would do a very low bed. So just some trivia on that actually. Um, I read somewhere that eating with your Indian sit legs crossed um, and then the 
motion of sitting up and down that way is actually very good for digestion. And the same for sleeping very close to the ground. Um, of course, we're in a condo, so unfortunately, it's not the ground. But theoretically, um, sleeping with a flat back um, on the ground is very good for your back and also keeps you as close as possible to earth. So they were even saying, you know, the best way to meditate is to go to the grass and just lie down. So that's the sort of concept. So this also, I painted myself. <laughs> of course, I had some help, but you know, generally speaking, I did the manual work of painting that. And here are more Marissa Lopa art. So these three, this, this, and this are all me when I post nude. Um, I had just given birth to my two children and I wanted, let's say, a remembrance of what my body was looking like after postpartum. So that's that. I She completed that within, I think, six months. Um, and I was living abroad at that time. So I had posed for her. She painted it in Manila. I flew and then I came back and then, surprise, this is what it looks like. So those are very special to me. Of course, I have my children there. I have my records player. Oh, I'll show you my records later on. And then here I have um, another, let's say, nude picture of myself when I was 23 or 24. Um, I was walking in the Riviera in Italy and then a young photographer asked if he could take my picture. So, but he said, okay, I want it nude. So I said, okay, I'll do a little bit for you. And so that's, that's that. I only managed to get one photo out of that. And this one is another photograph that's taken by my friend, which was taken on film. So it's still analog, not digital. Her name is Pepper Vanduan. And the other photograph there, or at least painting, is from the Place de Terre in Montmartre, where all the artists paint. So I just walked around, had my picture done, and there it stands. And finally, with a very small space, I don't like to keep a lot of stuff. So normally you'd think, you know, you're on TV, you have a lot of clothes, but actually that's not the case. I really like to f keep very, very few things, mainly vintage, mainly designer. So this is it. This is mainly all my stuff. I, st I still have some stuff in Paris, which are mainly um, winter clothes, but most of my stuff are already contained in these cabinets um, and in these shelves. And if you'll notice here, these are all suits that I've had made from Suited Up Manila. So they, all my suits are Suited Up Manila. They're all tailored. And I just keep repeating the same suits like a hundred times. And I'm not going to buy any other suit until I get more Suited Up Manila suits. So that's that. And then, of course, I have my dresses, lots of cute styles here. Um, these are basically what I use for hosting gigs. A lot of them are vintage, a lot are designer dresses, and those are what are very special to me. The rest of the things I love to just give away because there's just no space to keep anything. I keep a maximum of, oh, here, I'll show you my shoes. Not a lot of shoes really, but that's about it. This, these are all my shoes. Mainly designer shoes, but things that have lasted me for so long. I still have my first Ferragamos from when I was an intern at 19. So those are how long my stuff lasts me. And finally, just a very small area, which is my vanity area, to do all of my makeup when I have the time. Honestly, I'm not that great at doing my own makeup. I have very good makeup artists. But once in a while, I like to have fun and play with some styles. And this is actually an Hermes ribbon <laughs> that I made for Ace. So in a small space, everything needs to be multi-purpose. So you actually saw this tiny coffee table. It's Japanese, it's vintage, and it actually has a slot for records. Isn't that cool? So let's take a look at some records that I've amassed over the years. We've got Joni Mitchell, so I'm a very folk rock, uh, old soul, Dire Straits, The Beatles, of course, Modern English, um, and then some classics. So a bunch of those, still a lot underneath, but yeah, this is very, very handy for storage. So a few tips in living in a small space. I like the expression of every day is a chance to edit out your life and your life story. And I think the same thing or concept goes with a small space. I love the idea that you have 
limits to what you can achieve and so it makes you even more creative more innovative in what you really want it makes you really think okay do i really need this am i gonna be happy having this or not and that makes me very discriminating and very purposeful in every single thing that i buy i love every little thing like nothing to me is just you know mindlessly bought everything i research on everything i think okay do i have space for that and then another tip i have is to always be generous because i think that the more you give away the more things you know it's just physics it's just karma the more you give away the more you're going to receive back so each time you get something to your home um, something new that you manage to afford to buy that you deserve to buy then give something away diba? because you also need to clear space for that new thing in your life so i love that that's my practice each time even you know small things like i'll have a cleaning lady for the week and she'll be cleaning and then while she's cleaning i'll look na rin at my closet and think oh ito na rin yours na lang yours na lang yours na lang opportunity always to give away and of course you live in a condo so people are taking care of you here the guards you know the the janitors the people in the gym um, and it's every day walking down the stairs is an opportunity to take some stuff that you no longer need and give it away. And I think that's the best way to maintain not just a, a tidy home, but a home that's mindfully done, that you're very proud of, and of course, that you love to stay in. I think that's very important. Um, I'm a person that likes to travel the world. I'm a very active person. I'm always here and there. But at the end of the day, that also necessitates that I need to have my roots. I need to feel grounded. Every time I'm socializing, I also need the exact amount of time alone by myself in my own little place. And that's what I feel right now. So there you have it friends, hope you enjoyed the quick and small tour of my little apartment and I hope to see you soon!